the Yankees. And then going back so, to our family New York suite. <laughs> Let's give another shout out to Anheuser-Busch. Mm -hmm. And right, the Los Angelitas. We also have Gabriel Brewery. Thank you to them for contributing. We have Tirada Distillery for providing the rub. <laughs> and what, well, actually, we thought there was going to be cigars that were in here today. But we do have some raffles that are going to be happening. So make sure you leave your business cards at the Bronx Historical Society, Tirado Distillery, Empire City Casino, and Bronx Tourism. We have raffles going on later. I know, a lot of formalities after, after the party. But we got more party coming on. <laughs> but before we get the party, we're going to meet some of our elected officials. And we're going to begin with our presenters. And our first speaker, well, he brings his pragmatic, goal-oriented approach in business to the New York State Assembly. Please, let's welcome New York State's 80th Assembly District Assemblyman, Mark Jonah. to me as it has today when I saw so many of you from the great borough of the Bronx. There was energy in the air, there was excitement. I'm grateful to you for really making Albany a great place to be today. When I was running for office, I promised everyone I was going to bring Albany to the borough of the Bronx. Folks, I got it wrong. I brought Albany to, I put the borough of the Bronx to Albany. And it's a wonderful thing because this is the time that we get to showcase the best of the borough of the Bronx. We'll show Albany firsthand Bronx pride. We have any Bronx pride here? Yeah. Where's the Bronx pride? Yeah. Absolutely. We're full of Bronx pride. And it's up to us to promote this great borough that we call home. Not only through our foods sure, I'm not and the taking communities video. And Sure. districts that we live in, but through all of you, the people that really make the borough of the Bronx what it is, the all of the Bronx sites, that's who makes the borough a wonderful, vibrant place. Without any further ado, I couldn't do this without a great partner. Isn't that right, folks? Yeah. You're only as good as the people in around you? Yeah. Well, I've got one of the best. My friend and your friend, my senator, your senator, Senator Jim Klein. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. So we have the Bronx in the house? Yeah! Come on, we have the Bronx in the house. Yes! We gotta let everyone here at Albany know mm -hmm. uh, the Bronx is here in force. And uh, I wanna really thank uh, Assemblymember Mark Jonoy, our outstanding borough president, uh, Ruben Diaz. Uh, let's give Mark a big round of applause, everyone. He's absolutely fantastic. And of course, the person who each and every day is making the Bronx stronger, creating more jobs, and just making us all proud to be Bronxites, no. our borough president, Ruben Diaz Jr., everyone. Let's give a big round. great because you know when we come up to Albany all of us so uh, we get kind of lonely so uh, to have our Bronx family uh, visit us here uh, is truly outstanding because we need to let we need to let everyone know uh, that this is uh, about a borough I love that we all love and we want to make sure Albany and everyone else knows uh, that the Bronx is only going to get bigger and stronger let's hear it for the Bronx everyone Woo! Well, I will introduce our outstanding uh, borough president. Sure, I'm not doing uh, anything over uh, here. Who I'm proud Unbelievable. To friend, uh, someone Jeez. who each and every day uh, wakes up with a very simple truth. How do I make the Bronx a better place? Our borough president, Ruben Diaz hey! Diaz. Diaz, Diaz. Hello, everyone. Shh. 
Yeah, okay. That's gonna work. I know that everyone is having a good time, but first of all, let me just say that for those of you who are from the Bronx who are here tonight, boy, you look beautiful. Give yourself a strong round of applause. Come on, you can do that, you're applauding for yourselves. For those of you who are not from the Bronx, we also appreciate each and every single one of you being here tonight. I really want to tip my hat off to Assembly Member Mark Jonas and State Senator Jeff Kine. Let's give them a short round of applause. We want to thank them and their staff members. We also want to give a special shout out to the Bronx Overall Economic Development Corporation, where's Marlene, as well as Olga Luz Tirado from the uh, Bronx Tourism Council. To all of the elected officials from the Bronx, you make us proud. For the elected officials who are here who are not from the Bronx, remember that we still need you. Let's give the elected officials who are not from the Bronx a strong round of applause. We need you because the Bronx is thriving, the Bronx is booming, the Bronx is back, the Bronx is beautiful. We are creating jobs, we are creating housing, we are rebranding ourselves with all of the different residents and all of the different companies and small businesses and all of the different institutions like Yankee Stadium and the Bronx Zoo and the Botanical Garden but also with, with people like Lenny Carroll and the, and the Bronx Chamber of Commerce and so forth. Let's give them a strong round of applause. To all the community board members, even though we're headed in the right direction, there is still so much left that needs to be done in the Bronx. And we love our borough, and we are all making sure that we change it from within. But we need Albany's help. We need state senators and assembly members, not necessarily from the Bronx, to help the Bronx delegation vote on important matters like the four Metro North Station that need to be funded in the Bronx. They, that would not only help our economy, it would help New York City, it would help the state of New York, it would create jobs, it will help us continue to rebrand ourselves. What you see here tonight is the very best that we have to offer. This year we're celebrating our centennial. So please, go to ilovethebronx.com. I'm gonna say that again. Go to ilovethebronx.com and you will see all of the listings of the events and festivities where we are celebrating what it means to be a Bronx site what it means to be from the Bronx, our history, our culture, our flavor, whether you're Latino, whether you're black, you're African, Albanian, whether you're Jewish, Irish, or Italian, whether you're from Riverdale or Soundview, whether you're from the west side of the Bronx to the east side of the Bronx, the Bronx is where it's at. We are happening, we're hot, we're booming, and we love all of you from corporate America who are giving us a second look. We love Anheuser-Busch. We love Coca-Cola, we love PepsiCo, we love the Yankees, we love Donald Trump even for making sure that we have a new golf club, a new golf course. Thank you all, God bless you, and God bless the beautiful ball of the Bronx. And so I'm told here that I gotta reach into this box, box right here. Some of you have put in your business card, and I'm gonna dig out a name. And this name is going to get what we call a Bronx basket with a bunch of different Bronx goodies. Compliments of Olga Luz Tirado and Marlene Cintron from the Bronx Over Economic Development Corporation and the Bronx Tourism Council. And the winner of this basket goes to Mr. Aaron Xavier, founder of Ameri-Rise Services. Ameri Services. He's not paying attention, going once. I'm sorry? A and A, America, what is your name, Aaron? Aaron Xavier, you're not Aaron Xavier, what are you doing? <laughs> See how people from the Bronx try to do it? Where's Aaron? Aaron, going once. Aaron, going twice. I told y'all to shh. Aaron going three times, I'm about to throw away your business card. 
Come here, Ari. Come over here. You just come on down. Make way for Aaron. You just won the Bronx basket. Let's give Aaron a, a, a special round of applause. He's had a few butt wise prizes in him. Come get your basket, Aaron. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you, Albany, for having Bronx Night here tonight. Thank you to Jeff Klein, our great state senator. Thank you to Mark Jonai. Thank you to the Bronx delegation. Thank you to the staffers and all the organizers and all of the sponsors. Thank you very much. You made us look good tonight. God bless you. Come on, folks, let's give a big round of applause for our final person and our leader. This is our final person, Ruben Diaz, a big hand of applause. And our Senate co-leader, Senator Klein, with these two gentlemen, the front of the Bronx is only going in one direction, and that is forward. It's a great pleasure that I invite up to the stage a Sullivan Dewitz, a Bronx Delegation Dean. Sullivan. Well, I guess I have to ride the list. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Senator Joma. I want to also thank our current president, Ruben Diaz Jr., State Senator Klein, my senator, and my neighbor, Senator Ross Jonai. <laughs> Our president mentioned some of the neighborhoods of the Bronx. Well, I've lived in Soundview and I've lived in Riverdale, and we have loads of good neighborhoods in the Bronx. And let me tell you, I've lived in the Bronx all my life. The Bronx is booming. The Bronx is better than ever. The Bronx is back. Yeah. Yeah. I have the honor of introducing each of the members of the Bronx.